this video lecture i'm going to show that maximum value of cos alpha cos beta is 1 by 2 so this we need to show that and the given is alpha plus beta equal to 90 degree so here you need to take the lhs left hand side so there i assume phi equal to cos alpha cos beta okay now the next is here we can easily achieve the output if I multiply 2 cos alpha into cos beta with 2. Okay. So 2 we need to multiply with these terms. So here we need to divide with the 2 also. Now thereafter here we have the formula 2 cos alpha into cos beta that is cos alpha plus beta plus cos alpha minus beta. Now thereafter here you can see alpha plus beta that is 90 degree so here you can see cos 90 plus cos alpha minus beta divided by 2 so here cos 90 degree value that is equal to 0 so you need to put here 0 0 plus cos alpha minus beta divided by 2 thereafter uh, y equal to cos alpha minus beta divided by 2 so here the next is maximum value of cos alpha minus beta equal to 1 because uh, here cos 0 degree the value come that 1 and the cos 90 degree the value come here 0 so the cos value that lie between 0 and alpha okay so this is now 0 and 1 so cos value that lies between 0 and 1 so that here cos alpha minus beta this value is now that is lied between 0 and 1 so maximum value so maximum that is 1 so here 1 by 2 that comes and if that ask about the minimum so minimum is now 0 and here 0 by 2 that that's come 0 so this is the way we can prove this question so one time I'm going to repeat this all. So write the given. Then after assume y equal to cos alpha cos beta. Then after here we have the formula 2 cos alpha into cos beta. That is cos alpha plus beta plus cos alpha minus beta. Then after alpha plus beta that is given 90 degree put that. Then 0 plus cos alpha minus beta divided by 2. So thereafter the cos value that is lie be lies between 0 and 1. Okay, so the maximum value of cos is now 1 and minimum value is now 0. So we need to get here maximum value of cos. So that here you need to put 1. So 1 by 2 that come. Maximum value of uh, cos alpha into cos beta that is 1 by 2. Okay, so this is the way we can prove this question. So I hope guys this video is the helpful for you. So now in this video it's over. So thanks for watching. See you next week. Thank you.